problem with glimpsing genuine freedom as I have these past five years of bicycle touring is the winters working in the corporate sphere to fund the extravagance drive me depressingly close to suicide. I find myself gazing at the countryside from commuter train windows, the book in my lap open but unread. The promise of heading out in the saddle again occupies every waking moment. The dangled novelty of daily adventure usurping the trivial subsistence of civilised men. I'm not the same as you people anymore. My time is now more valuable than mere currency. It needs to be spent exploring as much as I can before I die. I completely understand if you find yourself growing resentful over this. Nobody should have to suffer the ignominies of wage slavery while some smug git buggers about on a bike all day. A possible redemption is I feel I've earned this respite. I've worked the dangerous jobs and laborious 16 hour days during my 25 years of construction in temperatures ranging from minus 50 to 160 Fahrenheit. Where simply getting out of bed in the morning took Herculean will. I've shot nails through fingers and duct taped, gruesome cuts closed. I've broken ribs, fingers, had teeth knocked out, endured half a dozen concussions, and never visited a doctor or hospital for any of it. I know who I am and what I can do. I've put in my time. Now, perhaps this is self-justification, because there is a certain amount of guilt accompanying these seasonal flirtations with liberty. While clock punches inhale their stale office air, I'm intoxicated with exhilarating mountain ranges, wild forests, glittering cities and villages swaddled in bucolic farmland. I get to marvel at the morphing landscapes and local accents as I pedal. The brow of every hill promising fresh perspective. But importantly, I've come to realise that none of this stuff matters. What matters is compassion, positivity, meeting people, appreciating their stories and educating yourself. And there's no better way on earth to do this than from the back of a bike. So that's me now, the dude that does that. I'm often asked how long I'll be traveling and what my end goal is, and sometimes what I'm running from. The answer to all these questions is I don't know because I don't need to. The journey itself is the thing. We tend to think we need a destination. But we live on a globe. Whichever direction we take, we end up back where we started. Much like our lives end back in the earth, reabsorbed by the universe. So the transition is the point. The experiencing of other places and other people. And at the risk of sounding arrogant, it's okay. I don't expect people to understand. It took me a few years to figure it out too.